how can students strategically go about tackling open tasks or any kind of assessment or assignment that has some sort of open choice element to it. I'm going to share that with you today and uh, give you some notice of a very special opportunity that I have coming up. So I'm Katie and I want to talk to you about that idea of not just choosing a topic or an idea that might just be something that you know students like or enjoy or that interests them. Now yes that is important and it's ideal if they can have something like that that they're going to be either researching or investigating or writing about but when it comes to results and grades what's more critical is finding a topic or a subject that ties into the criteria the rubric or the marking guide really really well and doing that first up because i've worked with a couple of students this week where they have had to develop some kind of idea or come up with something for an open task or something where they have some sort of choice. So the one, uh, the student I worked with yesterday has to come up with a modern day storyline that fits in with the Shakespeare play that they have been studying. A student that I'm working with a couple of working with in a couple of days, I've just had her email me through all of the information because she was like, okay, Katie, here's what I wanna work with you on in our personal coaching session. Um, we need to come up with a text that ties in with the novel 1980 that they've been studying and I was like okay but what is this leading to so you know yes we need to think about the themes and the concepts that are coming up that align but what I really want to know is what are you gonna have to do with this like why are they making you choose this what is this leading to because let's make a strategic choice let's not just choose something we go okay yeah that works or oh yeah that looks good or I like that poem or whatever it might be Let's pick something that's gonna work really well for the assessment or the task that's following on from this. So this is what I mean about being strategic. What we don't wanna do is go however far through and then go, oh, okay, you know what? This is gonna be a little bit difficult to tie in or maybe there isn't that much to analyze here. And with that um, storyline alignment, yes, we don't wanna just retell that story. It needs to match in, but let's give ourselves some opportunities for some you know, really nice subtle metaphors and some symbolism that we can bring in. So one of the things we talked about was in the play, the character is kept in a cell. So we talked about making a modern day version um, where they're in their office at work and that is that metaphor of that cell that they're constrained by their job. So that's what I wanna offer to you this week is to think beyond just making a choice on the surface level and actually dig deeper and think, okay, how can we make this really work for us? And if you or your teen would like to have this sort of service in future, have my eyes and my perspective, just in terms of an outsider's perspective and a fresh pair of eyes, but of course one with many, many, many years of uh, assessment marking, formal exam marking and being able to see it from that perspective, then I have a very special opportunity for you coming up. So keep an eye out in your inbox. I'm going to be providing an opportunity for more students to be able to do personal coaching with me and have me work with them one-on-one -on, -one on a regular basis. I very rarely offer this and I haven't done for a very long time. I only usually offer it to people that have been through my 10 week program and when I have some space. And I'll be honest, over the past year, I have not had any new spots come up. So what I want to do and what I have done is I have structured a system that allows me to work with more people in a slightly different format to how I've been doing it so far. So if you are interested in that, then be sure to look at it. I'm going to be running a webinar that tells you, teaches you a lot of this strategy, but also tells you about that opportunity. And you don't want to miss out because it is going to be very limited time. Obviously, I still need to limit things a little bit. So please look out for that. And until next week, let's make this a fantastic week.